Tell me something good, birds to eat. They're lighting it up. Oh my gosh, where you at? On the big side over here, by the little green patch. Really? Yep, at least three or four. So, mm -hmm. they'll, be, they'll be ready this weekend. That's all I needed tonight. All right, I was just going to call and give you some good news. All right. Well, uh, tell me whenever, uh, tell me whenever you get out of the woods. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay out here a little longer and see what's going on, and I'll hit you back up. All right. Yeah, do that. All right. See you. All right, bye. Alabama opener. See what we can do. You ready? I ain't no doubt about it. <laughs> it's a uh, 610 on the dot. Let me see right here. 610. Give it about 15 more minutes. Go owl hoot. It's still dark. What you got, son? What you got to tell him? Hold on, scoot back. We ain't gonna go yeah. There we go, right there. I'm still not in it. There we go. Six, mm. seven, son. <laughs> About to six, seven down this long beard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How was that drive from Mobile? Mmm. Brutal. So, Philly works at a steel mill in Mobile. He had work. What was it? Thursday night. Thursday night. Thursday night at 6 p.m. he went in. He didn't get off until 6 a.m. on Friday morning. Went home. Didn't eat nothing but a gravy biscuit on the way home. <laughs> went home. What, what all did you do? I don't even know. Uh, went home. Still. Didn't sleep an hour. Not a bit. Loaded up. Left his house about lunch. Shh, lunch. Got to my house about 1.32. We stayed up getting all the cameras and everything ready. And uh, we went to bed about 10.30. Something like that. Did not sleep for, what, how many hours? That 32 hours? Mm -hmm. Solid, solid 30 hours. I'll cut to the clip of me trying to wake him up this morning. <laughs> but that drive, he was calling me, he was saying, bud, I'm gonna have to pull over. I can't keep my eyes open. <laughs> Right. Yeah, about, about went over there and grabbed a pillow and went to bed in the rest stop. <laughs> and then we went to bed at 10.30. And we had to be up at 4.15 to be here. We're in uh, Titus, Alabama. It's central. It's about 30, 45 minutes from my house. So he's probably, he's working on about three and a half, four hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. Total, max. Two days. <laughs> so. Does it matter? <laughs> Absolutely not. So. If he shoots and misses, just y'all just understand just like, know. I'm what's, at, what's going on. There might be one out there, but I'm thinking there's four. I might shoot the one in the back right. <laughs> It'll be right. 30 yards to the left. We'll go out hoot here in a second, and we'll be back.
build so I was gonna flatten that down. Alright. We're back at it on day two. What the uh Had to bird it about three steps and couldn't close the deal for some unknown reason, but uh, we'll see. Uh, he did a, the hopscotch two-step around us and worked to the right where we weren't set up. and So I guess today you could call it revenge. We changed setups on the green field that they've been coming in. Uh, so I guess we'll, you can call it redemption too. <laughs> Cause my man forgot the decoy sticks yesterday. Yeah, and not to, to add insult to injury, uh, yesterday I kind of get this light on so y'all can see this light. I kind of forgot the decoy stick, so we had no decoy at all. In early season Alabama, you need a decoy. So, uh, get this out here in about five minutes and hopefully something changes from yesterday. What you got, son? I ain't got nothing. No. I have something for him unless he walks up that road before. He's got the lucky leaf suit on. Uh, I just need to get the back sto rolling. Back story behind this leaf suit. I've had this since I was like 12. Every turkey I've ever killed, I've had that on. Um, so it's it's got some mojo behind it. So we'll see if he can screw up that mojo today. Boy. I probably will. Go, baby. Get him. Step on his head, baby. Tell him, son. Tell him, son. Oh, oh my God, dude. <laughs> he came in strutting for you, son. Great footage, too. Holy shit, dude. We just did it. We just did it. Hmm. Did I miss the first shot? Oh, absolutely. Got it all on camera. Not even close. <laughs> Get out of here. I swear. <laughs> Not even close. Oh, oh what footage. Oh. First bird. I saw him. I, was I never saw him. I saw his tail. He was strutting. He had been strutting right there. How did I miss that? I really, I think I hit him the first shot. I don't know. Who gives it? <laughs> that is awesome, bro. Freaking. Look at the beard on his face. He's double bearded, boy. He's got a freaking rope, too. He's got a. Look at him. Dude, that is a freaking good. Where did I hit him at? I don't know. Look at that freaking beard. Look it up. How badass did he look coming in there? Bro, he strutted. He strutted. He was blowed up. I got him all on camera right here. Blowed up. He was about to jump on the damn hand decoy. What? He said kill. He said kill, kill the bird. Kill I couldn't see through this shit. Oh, okay. I could see. I could see. Well, day two in uh, <laughs> Alabama. Uh, we started out at a spot about 500 yards from here down the creek some. There's a huge holler that comes down and there's a creek branch that runs on the big side of our property. Um, we started out over there and Al hooted this morning, nothing. Al hooted a few more times, nothing. The owls finally woke up and got to talking and uh, we heard a bird off to our right gobbling. He gobbled two or three times on roost and so I was like, well, we'll give it some time and we'll work our way over there later on. So we sat there, Al hooted some more, like tree yelps, nothing. So I said, Tyler, let's just load up. Let's go to the big side, see if we can get on that bird that's gobbling over there far right. We'll get over here. It's about a mile and a half walk in. We finally get in, about to die. Uh, had about a half a Mountain Dew left. 
<laughs> uh, we get over there. I yelped one time and he gobbled. And I was like, there he is. So we knew where he was. We were up on a hill right above that, that uh, branch that I was telling y'all about. And when he gobbled, I knew about where he was. He seemed like he was pretty far though, off to our right down the creek. So uh, we walked about a hundred yards and set up in this little green patch right off the little branch down there. And uh, I called two or three times. He answered back and then went quiet. And uh, actually in some of the footage, you might be able to see me telling Philly, uh, he is going to come in quiet. Um, in central Alabama, yeah, these birds, be. especially early season, they'll get fired up. You don't see it very often where you have a bird gobbling really hard off roost, triple gobbling. Um, they say, you know, this part of the country is one of the hardest to kill these Easterns. And, uh, I believe that to be really true. Absolutely. So we set up and, uh, about 30 minutes in, he came in quiet as he could be. And, uh, and that footage you can see, I, I was, I was filming and I saw his tail fan come up. He started strutting and you can hear me say, he's right in front of you. And, uh, <laughs> Philly still couldn't see him. I mean, I'm like, well, I, had that, I had that tree to my right. I, yeah. I was set up and I was laying up on a tree and I had a tree to, directly to my right. And when I, Colton first looked at me, he said, he's right in front of you. I'm like, y'all can hear me. I'm like, I'm looking, I've got the mouth. And, he, and, he's, I'm get, like, and he's getting mad. He's getting mad at me. And I'm like, <laughs> where is the bird? Now, he ain't in the area code. And I, you know, I'm looking around and all of a sudden here, he, here he comes. Bowed up. He strutted. And uh, then, he strutted for a while before you saw him though. Oh, he was it. he was strutting at the edge of I the mean, he was strutting at, he was strutting at the double ladder. Yeah, I think he strutted. I think he was strutting on the creek sometime. If we didn't have that HS strut decoy, I'll tell you this. That hunt never goes that far. Remember them sticks this morning? Yeah. So What did I tell y'all? I'll I'll, I'll cut dipsy. to a clip right here of us talking yesterday morning. I forgot the sticks to my decoy and we had two birds work us with in about 12 yards. Couldn't close the deal cuz I forgot the sticks. We didn't forget them this morning, but uh we didn't. Your first bird. First one. Would you say you fell in love with it? Absolutely, that's the best thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah, you know, people uh, people talk about deer hunting. Me and Philly get the opportunity to hunt in Illinois every year and uh, travel up there to the Midwest and have some of, it's some of the best whitetail hunting you can find. And I, I, I tell people, man, there is, no matter what you experience, there's nothing like turkey hunting, no, um, no matter where you go. And uh, Alabama, it, it's hard. It, it really is. It's it's a hard task to get it get it done. But you know, sometimes it's rewarding, though. Yeah, it's it's really rewarding. It can be. It's so frustrating. Like yesterday, gosh, I was so I wasn't mad. I mean, it was like, that hunt was awesome. But I mean, those birds gobbled a hundred times, a thousand times. Yeah, I mean, it was awesome. But I mean, but then and this morning, if you would have told me that we would have killed a bird, I I would have told you. Yeah, you're full I would have said you're crazy as uh, hell. Yeah, ain't no doubt. <laughs> But uh, no, uh, it was a fun hunt, and what this was this was the morning where you don't expect it to happen, and then something like this happened. So, uh, and what did I tell you about this leaf suit? Yeah, what did we tell you about the leaf suit? It's weird. It's so, not normal. Y'all stay tuned for more episodes, <laughs> and if y'all see that leaf suit, just know something's going down. <laughs> it's coming. This ain't something that we're gonna wear now all the time. This is something for when you know. Oh, uh, this best occasion. You got, I mean, yeah, you, you just... got to break it up. You got to break it up. If you, so. just, if you need a little bit of a mojo, oh yeah, you just break it out. I don't know. I, all my baseball players out there watching, we call them slump busters. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up. But uh, <laughs> that's that's a tangible slump buster right there. <laughs> but uh, we appreciate y'all watching. Um, and uh, we'll be we'll be putting out stuff as much as we can. We're headed down to Florida for an Osceola in about what five days, six days. It's yeah, next end weekend. Of the week. Next Thursday. So at the end of this week, we're headed down to Florida with Jeff Buds from Taggart Worldwide, chasing Osceola's. That's going to be awesome. Y'all stay tuned for that episode. Um, we we want to say uh, thank you to Whitetail Institute for making this possible for us and uh, giving us this beautiful clover you see us sitting on right now. And if y'all haven't checked them out, y'all can check them out at whitetailinstitute.com. Um, they've got great food plots, uh, early season turkeys and especially deer. So check them out. Um, but like I said, this is number one for Philly and many more to come. And No doubt. We're up next. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we can double up on Osceola in a couple of days. But we appreciate y'all watching um, Kanadi Productions, and y'all stay tuned. Brought to you by.
Whitetail Institute of North America. Research equals results.